So if you're like me, you wanna know how this insect bite healer actually works. I can't really tell from looking at it, so I figured I'd buy one. I really wanna try this out. But first, let's get this thing out of the box and see how this thing works. All right, so here's the device itself. It's really small and compact and super lightweight. I do think we're gonna have to add some batteries. Yep, so it does take two AAA batteries. We'll slide in here in a second. Uh, and then here is the application tip. So I wasn't sure if this was gonna be some type of suction or what. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm really not sure. So why don't we get some batteries in this, read the directions a little bit, and we'll try this thing out. Uh, I do like how compact this is. It's really small, so this will easily fit in your pack, in your pocket, your pocketbook, your purse, your backpack, whatever. Uh, and it's really easy to use. So I just read through the directions here. You're just gonna slide this here to the on position. And then there's two settings. You can click this once for the sensitive skin setting and click it twice for the normal setting. I don't have a bug bite here, but I wanna see what this little tip here actually does. Cause I mean, it's just a smooth tip. Uh, there's nothing really special about it. Not really sure how this works. Obviously I don't have a bug bite yet. Um, this thing has great reviews and it seems to work really well, but I wanted to see how this works. All right, let's try this here. We'll start with the sensitive skin setting. You can see it's half lit up. All right, ooh, whew. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's, it like heated up. It got really hot. Um, it felt sort of uncomfortable for a little there. Let's try the more intense setting. All right, here we go. Oh my word. Oh, ow, it kind of hurts a little bit. All right, yeah, so right there, what is, it feels like it's, I don't know what's happening. That's really weird. It gets like hot, almost stings a little bit. Um, but I guess it's better than having an itchy bug bite for a little. The first one, the sensitive skin one, is a lot less intense. You can actually see the two marks here uh, that I kind of left behind. And this, obviously, on the underside of my arm is a very sensitive part of my arm. So somewhere like up here, it's probably not going to hurt as much. But it has, yeah, it definitely stings a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's not nearly as bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it stings. But yeah, so I guess... Now I just need to try this out on an actual bug bite, see how well it works. But I wanted to show you guys what the device is and how it works. So it's some type of heat or electricity. It doesn't really feel warm. Uh, it heats up and uh, yeah, root kills the bug bite. So now I don't have a bug bite, but it looks like I have a bug bite. But just so you guys can see here, this is the device that works. I mean, people say it works really well. It's nice and compact, very easy to use, which is nice. When you're done, you just slide it off here like that, slide it back in your pocket whatever. I don't see any sort of carrying case or anything like that. Uh, and look at that. They even send the batteries along. I missed that earlier. So that's nice. Uh, but yeah, overall people say it works really well. I got to wait till I get stung by a bug to try this thing out, but it definitely does something. You can see the marks on my arm here. Uh, and there is a slight stinging from it. So just be aware, uh, your child or kid may not be a big fan of it. But of course it's better than having a big itchy bump for a long time. So if you're looking for a good way to stop your bugs, bites from stinging and itching, this thing is gonna be a great choice.